Hey guys, let's talk about breaking down water. You know, if you know anything about Kentucky Lake at all, you know it's a huge body of water. Uh, you drive across the dam and just look and you can see as, as far as you can see. 160,000 acres to be exact. And that's a lot of water to cover. So if you're coming to Kentucky Lake and you're thinking about fishing, bass fishing, crappie fishing, any kind of sport fishing, where do I start? You know, there's a lot of water here. Where do I even um, begin? And one of the biggest things is, is your electronics. And it doesn't really matter what brand you're using, but take advantage of how good this stuff is. Now, there's a lot of mapping companies out there that do a really good job of surveying these lakes. Um, in particular, Kentucky Lake and some of the lakes down the Tennessee River, they really try not to miss anything because the ledge fishing is so popular on this, on this river system. Um, but breaking down the water, you know, where do I start? Um, most of the map companies now have, have done a good job of uh, coming out with something to where you can do depth highlights. So you can actually go in here and, and highlight what depth ranges you want to fish. So let's, let's take for instance, you know, if, if you know that the fish in the fall are typically in that, you know, less than five foot of water, you know, mo for the most part, late summer when the fish start to think about that fall pattern, they get in less than five feet of water. Now a lot of people think that um, when you talk fall fishing, you're talking about the backs of the creeks, and that's not necessarily true. So you could still be fishing offshore, but that doesn't mean you're fishing really deep water. You know, there's a lot of flats on this lake that are, you know, five feet of water and a, a foot of water, for that matter, in the fall, you know, that doesn't have much water over the top of them at all. That's got a lot of shallow cover and stuff. So what you want to do is fall fishing five feet or less, you can do depth highlights on these units to highlight that five foot range. In the springtime, you know that you know fish are, are, are let's say they're pre-spawn. You know, spawn's not really a good example because when they're back in the very backs of the creeks, you're actually going to be back there fishing more. But when it comes to searching for fish, you know, places that the fish are going to hide when they're moving back, uh, uh, pre-spawn. You know, before the spawn ever happens, you can do depth highlights on these units of let's say eight to twelve foot. You can highlight that eight to twelve foot range so that breaks down all that water, all that dead water out there that's 30 feet of water, you get rid of that, you do a depth highlight from, eight, let's say, eight to 12 foot of water in a bright red or a bright pink, something that really stands out, and that's gonna make your time on the water that much better.